teşekkür ederim. I just joined tariqat and here battle with ego repetitively. But what is the battle with ego? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The battle of the ego is the jihadul akbar. It is the biggest jihad. First you have to understand what is the ego. The ego it is the nafs. Nafsul amara that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put into us. The ego, it is a creature that Allah has put and this creature is always disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the most dangerous creature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ever created. It is more dangerous, our ego is more dangerous and more, dis more disobedient than shaitan, than Firaun, than Nemrut, than Abu Lahab, than Abu Jahil, worst one. That the egos hmm, is a disobedient one. Allah has given the ego that power. Shaitan disobeyed Allah one time. Our ego disobeys Allah every single moment. Now in this world, if we are letting our spirit to be able to discipline to step on our ego, to control the ego, the ego with that power will start moving us, will start giving us that boost, that energy to make better progress. First you have to understand what the ego is. We may speak about it, books have been written about it, but you're not going to understand so much unless you are in the association of a sheh, association of a living one. So many books are written about it, so many things are written about it. You can read about it, but you won't understand because your ego is also specific. Everyone's ego is the same, but your ego is specific. Just as everyone has a face, but what is on your face, it is specific, isn't it? Seven billion people, seven billion faces, but no two people have exactly the same face. So your ego is also unique in that way, and you have to find a sheh that is going to hold a mirror to yourself first, you have to understand, you have to look at yourself to say, oh, this is ego. So many people, they don't understand. Because the ego comes in hundreds and thousands of tricks and traps. Maybe you're saying, this is just a habit, it is ego. This is the way I'm taught, this is ego. I'm not thinking, it is ego. Now that Shaykh, that friend of Allah, that one is going to show you what your ego is. That time you're going to understand what kind of a creature it is. And there's a time you have to hold and you have to control it. You're going to step on it. Because the ego is not going to rest until it brings you to the hellfire. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the Spirit, it's saying to the Spirit, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala saying, Come forward, our Spirit comes forward. Allah says, Move back, our Spirit moves back. And Allah is saying, Who am I and who are you? And our Spirit says, You are my Lord and I am your servant. The Spirit knows because the Spirit is coming from Allah. And the Spirit is always in submission to the will of Allah. And the spirit is always in agreement with the will of Allah. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the ego, he's saying to the ego, come forward, the ego move back. Allah says, move back, the ego move forward. Move right, it moves left, move left, it moves right. And when Allah says, who are you? Who am I and who are you? And our ego is saying, you are you, and I am me. The spirit has a relationship to Allah, it knows. It's saying, you are our Lord and our creator, and I'm your creature, I'm your servant. But the ego says, you are you, and I am me. You understand what it means? It means, you are there, I am also there. You are here, I am also here. You are existing, I am existing. You are Lord, I am also a Lord. 
the ego is the only creature that declares itself lordship to itself. You understand? It's declaring, it's challenging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did shaitan ever declare lordship to itself? No. But our ego is declaring lordship. Our ego is saying, me. So now, if you are not knowing your ego, that evil inside of you that is declaring lordship, that means you have not gotten rid of the shirk that is inside of you. This hidden shirk. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, hidden shirk, it is very dangerous, but to detect it, it is more difficult than finding a black ant on a black rock in the darkest part of the night. But it is still there, which is why you need the inheritors of the Prophet to take it out, to dig it out, to say, you still have this. Get rid of it. There's a time when you need submission. There's a time you need obedience. There's a time you need all these qualities as you submit to a doctor. Hmm? You're so sick. The doctor says, I have to cut you up. You're saying, I submit. You even sign papers to say, I submit. And you just lie there, and the doctor cuts you up. But the person who has a spiritual disease, he does not want to have this submission to the doctor, spiritual doctor. What kind of cure he's going to get? He's not going to get too much a cure. May Allah make us to understand better to watch ourselves clearer to always make tafakur to watch our actions and our intentions and to make sure that it is only for the sake of Allah and not to do it for the sake of our ego may Allah forgive me may Allah bless you this much is enough I will see you tomorrow, inshallah. Rahman, Al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.